In today's video, I'm going to see if I can use Immortal AI instead of a green screen. I was going to say that. <clears throat> In today's video, I'm going to see if I can use Immortal AI instead of a green screen. They, they can't hear you because you don't have a microphone. Instead of a green screen. Instead of a green screen. Let's, let's see if it works. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is find where the other footage of you aligns in the video. I have all my footage laid out. Here's the first shot of me. Second shot of me. Part of the third. And then the rest of the third. So the first part, I'll grab the clip of me, drag it over here. I can match the audio, turn the opacity down just a little bit. So now using the audio, I can make sure that the audio matches. And you can use Immortal AI instead of a green screen. So I'm happy with that. It looks like it works. So I'm gonna cut it as soon as I walk out of frame. Go ahead and turn opacity back on and now I'll go ahead and bring Emroto AI. So the cool thing with Emroto AI is you're able to use fast, accurate, or super fast. When the video that you saw, I did use accurate precision. It took a super long time to go frame by frame. So on here, I used accurate uh, since this is kind of a walkthrough, I'll go ahead and just use fast. So now I'll go ahead and start drawing the line. I like to start usually a little bit into the video so I can hit track forward and back instead of starting all the way forward or all the way back. Hit tracker, move forward. And you can see there's quite a bit of parts that are not correctly tracking so I can go back through afterwards and go kind of move over frame by frame and just make sure that it's all checked and now once that's done I can hit on track backwards again there's a little bit of parts that aren't quite tracking actually move this over to the brush tool let's so go over frame by frame find all the parts that were not masked and then you can just go ahead and mask it and move over to the next frame cool thing is you can be as precise as you want with the time that you spend. So now you can go ahead and click on merge, move it to masked video, and I'll go ahead and expand the mask a little bit, and now you can play it back. It was Porto AI instead of a green screen. Uh, I was gonna say that. So I'll go ahead and right click, click on detach audio. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out where the sound of me walking away. So now the second clip that I have is of me from outside the window. Do the same thing. I want to move the opacity down. All right, this looks like it works. So cool thing with this video clip, I don't need to use Emerald to AI. I'll be able to actually just mask the window. Go ahead and zoom in to 150%. And then I'll just draw a line. Now if I move the opacity back, I have my character moving. So now the thing you want to make sure is that my arm is not bumping into the mask. Like right here you can see it is. So what I'll end up doing is just kind of moving this mask over a little bit. It works because of all the sunlight right there. It kind of already blurs it out. So the next problem that we have is the light change. Right here, once this mask starts, the light changes pretty abruptly right there. So what you can do is drag this out just a little bit. Click on opacity, keyframe, move over to the edge of the clip and then drag the opacity all the way down. This way it slowly changes the light and it's not as noticeable, especially when you're looking at it from a wide angle. Just make sure again, now that you made the clip longer, that you don't touch the frame or you don't touch the mask. Cool, so that looks good. And now for the final part. And again, right here you can see the light changes. So right as your character walks away, go ahead and click on opacity again. 
and then just move it all the way down to zero. And now we can move the last clip over here. Roto AI. It's right about here. We hear the door open. Yeah. Move the opacity down. Roto AI. Roto AI. Instead of a green screen. They can't hear you because you don't have a microphone. Instead of a green screen. So I'll go ahead and move this over just a little bit to the right. Roto AI. Instead of a green screen. Cool, that works. So, go ahead and bring the opacity back up to 100%. I'm move this underneath my main footage. I'm actually going to mask my main footage instead of the other footage. So it's the same thing, just go ahead and quickly draw a line around yourself. Wow, got it on the first try. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and move the track forward. And this track is going to take quite a while. Pretty impressed with the masking so far. It looks like there's really no big errors that I need to go back and fix. Cool, so now I can go ahead and click on Masked Video. Go ahead and expand the mask just a little bit. Instead of a green screen. They, they, they can't hear you because you have a microphone. Instead of a green screen. Cool, so that worked awesome. So right as I walk out of frame, I'll go ahead and cut right here. Go ahead and detach audio. So for the audio part right here, I want to have the audio be kind of bad when I'm talking from the door. Instead of a green screen. So I'll go ahead and hit V to silence the other audio. And I'll hit Command B to cut the audio of me talking. So with this audio, I want to go ahead and add a muffle filter so that way it makes it kind of hard to hear. And I'll also change the audio to just the audio microphone I had on my camera. Instead of a green screen. Go ahead and search muffled. Of a green screen. So now with it together, and now it goes back to the better audio. Instead of a green screen. Right here, I'll also cut it back to camera audio. Go ahead and detach the original <laughs> audio. In today's video, I'm going to see if I can use Emirato AI instead of a green screen. So I'm happy with all of the audio. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight all the audio. <laughs> Hit Option G. And I used the Rode Video Go 2, I believe it's called. And it records on one side of the ear. So you need to go over to basic basic surround and then move this up to the middle and now you have audio on it. both sides of the ears so the next thing we need to do is capture the shadow on the fridge from when my other character is there so hold down option and move this frame up and that way it copies and duplicates it and now I'll turn off Emroto AI and I can see my shadow right here. So I'll go ahead and just try to grab a mask. And just have a small mask around this area. So I'm gonna go all the way until I can see my shadow. So I wanna be till here. I'm gonna do the same thing of keyframe the opacity. Go all the way back, bring it down to zero. Move the mask down just a little bit. I think that works a lot better. And then as I walk out, before my other shadow moves back, I'll grab the opacity again, keyframe it, move over just a little bit, move it down to zero. In today's video, I'm going to see if I can use it. And then the second shadow the nice thing is when I walk through the door there is no there's really no shadow 
coming from the door. I can just hold down option and move this clip up so that way I'm able to duplicate it. Turn off Emirato AI, grab a mask, and now I can just put this mask right around the fridge and it'll be able to capture my shadow. They can't hear you because you don't have a microphone. That's all I did for this video. Afterwards, I just highlighted it all. Hit Option G. So into the beginning of the video. Hit Play for a couple of seconds. In today's video. Hit Command B. Click on the video clip. Go over to Kinburns. Have the start be closer onto your character and now it starts zoomed in zooms out and there's the video that's it for this video of me testing out emeralto ai instead of a green screen inside of final cut pro please consider commenting liking and subscribing as it helps this channel to grow and thank you so much for watching